Robinson has been around for a while, did take a break from officiating for a period as well. He was overseas as we see the stats start in 11. Jaheim Williams in goal, Alex Xavier Gooden, J. Lloyd Smith and Kemar Thompson, the back three. They have five in the middle of the park. At the base, Nicole Gale and Kalanji Watson. Also there, Richard Livingston, Dwayne Atkinson and Rashawn Frankson. Up top, we have Andre Salmon and Leon Brown. They're coached by Philip Williams. Jamaica College, let's have a quick look at their starting lineup. Raul Renton in goal, Tariq Jones, Ravon Mills, Dylan John, Tahir Lawrence, Jaden Johnson, Brenton Sayers Jr., Dante Logan, Jamari Howell, Jamoy Dennis, Malachi Sterling. They're coached by Davian Ferguson. They line up as a 4 2 3 1. And the normal defensive player, Malachi Sterling, goes in a tie at the end of regulation time. And it will be decided by the dreaded penalty kicks. The lottery's out. Who will win the jackpot? Confirmation of the full time score. St. Andrews Technical 1, Jamaica College 1. Full time highlights now. Things got going early for St. Andrew Technical. Ball lifted by Frankson, Leon Brown headed it down and in his 17th of the season and once more look on the delivery from Rashawn Frankson and he was unmarked, Leon Brown made no mistake of it Raul Renton was beaten there in the 5th minute and there was rejoicing the second half now the game change in the favor of Jamaica College. Malachi Sterling being the man who was doing the darting run brought down by Gooden. And the captain didn't have the most convincing of kicks, but it went in. And that's all that matters. Had a stone to throw. This one rattles the crossbar after Jaheim Williams got a, a tip to it. That was from the captain as well. And also this one. Again in the midst of all the melee there. Sayers getting the acrobatic attempt off. Coming across the, coming against the upright. And Jaheim Williams able to play it out. And that's all she wrote for 90 minutes. Full-time match statistics. St. Andrew Technical, one shot on target from eight attempts. JC had five from 13 attempts. Nine fouls committed by St. Andrew Technical, five by Jamaica College, no yellow cards, no red cards. Two offsides for stats, one for JC. They had the majority of the corners, of four to stats, one. Jaheim Williams had to make four saves. And Jamaica College having the majority of the possession, 57%. But it's still level after 90 minutes. The penalty shootout comes up next. Wow. 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 Here's a replay. Logan started things off for Jamaica College. Marvin Taylor was uh, as good. That's where it changed. Jamari Howell smashing the crossbar. They thought they had it then, did stats. But Livingston, the captain, was beaten by Jason Charles. It was a save initially, but it was called back by the fourth official. 
the second attempt he was able to deliver Zinedine McLean Kevin Hall blasted it over and the true blues once more beating St. Andrew Technical from 12 yards the discussions will continue for quite a while Philip Williams was visibly distraught, angry, enraged. Well, we have to have a look again at the laws of the game. And one law does state clearly, the ball must be stationary. Law 14. Point one, the ball must be stationary on the penalty mark and the goal post, crossbar and goal net must not be moving. We go now to the MVP of this encounter, Kimani and Janae. They are standing by somewhere with him. Thank you, Dean. I'm joined by head of business marketing at Digicel, Kimberly Campbell. She's presenting the Man of the Match Award to Malachi Sterling of Jamaica College. Malachi, let me have a quick talk with you. You won on penalties. How good does it feel to be Walker Cup champion? Well, it's a good feeling to be the Walker Cup champion. This is also my last season, so I'm grateful for this title. Well, send a message to your fans at home before you leave. Well, I just want to tell everyone, continue to support Jamaica College. All the best for next year. All right, thank you, Malachi. All the best. Yeah. Yeah, Malachi Sterling there of Jamaica College. I'm joined now by head coach of Jamaica College, Walker Cup champions coach Davian Ferguson. Coach, you did it again via the penalty spot against St. Andrew Technical. One year out, how good does it feel to be champion? Um, I think the incident at the end really marred the game. Um, but kudos to our boys, I think we came out here today. We started a little bit shaky, um, but I think on the floor of the game, we had the better at the stats team. Um, Commissary to start, I think they played well. They're always a very good opponent. Um, but I think today we want it a little bit more, and our boys show that. Congratulations, coach. Thank you. Yeah, that's the end of this one. The Walker Cup title goes to Jamaica College, beating St. Andrew Technical 7 6 on penalties. And it's their fourth hold on this trophy, Jamaica College. And yeah. 2023, their fourth hold on the title, Jamaica College. O'Neill Anchor, Chairperson Manning Cup, and Elon Parkinson, Head of Communications and Corporate Affairs at Digicel, makes the presentation of the Walker Getting ready Cup. for the presentation of the trophy. Elon Parkinson from Digicel is there. And uh, the Jamaica College team on hand. And they hoist the trophy for the fourth time in their history. Brenton Sayers leads the rejoicing party for Jamaica College. Walker Cup champions for 2023. And the party will continue for them all through the night. Joy, delight, rejoicing. They've done it another time. They have kept their nerves. Custos Rotolorum of Kingston and St. Andrew. Team manager there, Ian Forbes, gets in on the action. The keeper, who was instrumental. Dylan John had his time there as well. And they are rejoicing. Stabell there. Injured, unable to play today, but having the ability to hoist the trophy. the walk of a